Let's ride, let's roll, let's get it. Whoa, shawty showing out, throwing on the dance floor. Fashion killer, huh? You don't give a fuck what a nigga gotta say or a bitch. What? Hey, you guys, it's Naima Ray, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the fam because we stay lit over here. You feel me if you're a tiny viewer. Hi, how are you guys doing on this lovely day? We finally reached 300 subscribers, guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It's really, really appreciated. Um, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. These past few weeks, like this past month and like maybe a little bit of the month before, I have had the worst creators block. I have not wanted to post anything. I've been powering through just for you guys. I've been like, oh my gosh, we gotta stay consistent because I don't think I've missed an upload since 2021 started. And I'm trying to keep it that way. So I've been trying to push through. Um, but y'all, it's hard. It's hard out here. You know, it's hard out here for a pimp. Anyways, um, so if you guys have any video ideas that you just wanna see me do or you just wanna see some different content from me, please send me video ideas. I'm open to trying different stuff. I'm really trying to switch up the content this year. Um so yeah that's one thing that i want to say another thing i want to say is the lighting is gonna go in and out i'm letting y'all know now it's like sunny outside but the clouds keep moving so mind your business two wait no that was two number three is i am going to do a video on how i prep my hair for braids i said it in my last video where i was washing the braiding hair I just didn't want to do back-to-back -back hair videos. I'm trying to like switch it up so like you guys don't get back-to-back -back of like one certain thing, if that makes sense. I've been putting a lot of time into this, okay? I've been putting a lot of time. I've been thinking, I've been thinking. That's the point. I said all I have to say pretty much. Thank you guys so much for sticking through this little journey with me. I really do appreciate the support. And yeah, Um, without further ado, let me just go ahead and get into the rest of the intro. Okay, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, your girl is back with another freaking story time okay okay and in this story i'm gonna be telling you guys about the time that my sister um pretty much slightly kind of sort of cussed out our neighbor um so yeah uh i'm sure she's watching this so hey how you doing and we're just gonna go ahead and get into the video because this intro was really long so yeah let's do it okay so to give a little bit of a backstory um all the guys that lived in my neighborhood at the time they were really cute they were really popular most of them i think all of them yeah no most of them were like a year older than me so they were already in high school but they were very known okay they were popular every girl wanted to get with them like that type of popular okay now into the actual story so pretty much this happened literally like probably like a couple days a week or so before i was going into high school so my cousin, my friend, and I, we were all walking outside, minding our business, you know, and the guy next door, he was playing basketball. I'm going to call him Charlie. He was playing basketball with his friend Brian, okay? So they was outside playing basketball in their driveway, whatever, you know, hoop, hoop, whatever, swoosh. I don't remember who started it. I don't. I really don't. But y'all remember them roast sessions that people used to like to have back in the day, okay? If you don't know what a roast session is, google it or like look it up on youtube because i'm sure you'll find it but pretty much it's, it's when you go back and forth with somebody and y'all low-key like insulting each other but it's supposed to be all for jokes okay it's all for jokes like you know you don't ever hit below the belt or nothing like that okay so that starts happening and i know my cousin was definitely the first one to like speak back and so he's going back and forth with brian because i know charlie did not start it i know for a fact he didn't start it because he was always really quiet kind of reserved so like he just wasn't the type to just start it okay so brian and my cousin are going back and forth somewhere along the lines i know i jumped in and i think my friend jumped in and y'all i definitely shouldn't have done that but we go get to why we're all going back and forth like taunting each other and everything and somewhere along the lines it starts to slowly not become a roast session and it starts to get more pop like actual like serious and I could tell that Brian was getting like actually upset and I was like okay and so like honestly y'all I'm just gonna be real I don't remember what was said I don't remember what was being said but I just know that everything just slowly started to escalate up to points where it didn't need to escalate to and because of that Brian took it upon himself to be like okay that's how you feel he was like that's why I'm gonna tell everybody at school that you was sucking Y'all can fill in the rest, okay? And I was like, huh? 
like at this point, you know, I got quiet. You know, I did, he won. Okay, he won at this point. Everybody got silent. There was nothing else to say. You get nothing else to say. At this point, I'm nervous, y'all. I'm I'm really nervous because let me clarify some things. One, my cousin's two years younger than me, so he wasn't gonna be going into high school anyways. And he also didn't even live in the same school district as me. Like we didn't live in the same county. He was just visiting. Two, my friend who was with me, who lived across the street, she was a year behind me. So she was going into eighth grade. She wasn't going into high school. I was the only one that was going to be at the same school as this boy. Okay. And then he went to And at this point, it was his word against mine. And that's exactly how I was thinking. Now, I'm going to be very real with y'all. I overthink things a lot. So maybe I was overthinking this. But after Brian said that, I was very nervous. I was anxious. I was telling my mom how I didn't want to go to school. I was like, I, I, I can't go. Like, cause he, he, what if he starts this rumor? And I just told y'all that he was very popular. He was very known. And I, I, I'm not sure if I said it, but he was definitely a year older than me. So he had already been there. Who's, who are they going to believe? They're going to believe the new girl who, who's fresh on the block? Or are they going to believe him? Okay. Like, I was, I was scared, y'all. I was scared. Like, I didn't want my high school reputation ruined before I even got into high school. Y'all, there's, I didn't want my high school reputation ruined before I even went into high school. So I was very like anxious and I was overthinking the whole process. I was freaking out in all honesty. I was freaking out about it. And I was telling my mom, my mom was like, oh, Naima, it's going to be fine. Like you're, you're just overthinking it, which honestly, y'all, I probably was. But as a teenager at that point in your life, when you're literally about to go into high school, like you just don't want to have a bad reputation, okay? Like, you don't want to have a bad rep. You don't want that to follow you into high school. Like, you don't want to come into high school being known as a hoe. Like, that's that's not okay. Like, bro, I just got out of middle school. Like, what? And kids are really cruel. Like, they are really cruel. And I don't know if it's still the same now, but I assume that it's probably worse. So, um, I was just really, like, thinking about it. I was like oh my gosh like I'm scared I can't do this and blah 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 even though I knew it wasn't true it was just like I didn't want people to think that of me and they don't even know me because a lot of the people that I had went to middle school with were not zoned for the same high school as me so I had to go in and like kind of fresh started a little bit like a little bit I, I knew a couple people but I had to fresh start it and I had, was not trying to start off on a bad foot so y'all get the point pretty much I was freaking out about it my sister had came down to visit one day with her boyfriend and I just want to say at the time that my sister's boyfriend he was six feet he came with a wife beater on I mean tattoos he he okay that was his description okay that's what he looked like um and also I also want to say if y'all think I'm a firecracker like based off some of the stories that I tell y'all about how I be getting mad at people and this and that da, 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 my sister's worse <laughs> And I know she's probably watching this, but I, I love you. But she she knows this. Like, she knows this. She's a, she's a little firecracker, okay? Like, she's worse than me, and she knows that. I don't remember if my mom told her or if I told her. And she she got mad. She, she was not happy. She was upset. She was like, oh, do you know where this boy lives? She was like, because we could go up there and we could talk to him. Because that's not okay. He's not going to be sitting here talking about my sister, blah, 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 blah. And she was going on and on. I was like, yeah, I know where he lives, but I don't. I don't think it's that serious for us to go, like you know, talk to him because you know me being a little weenie that I was, like, bro, Naima, get it together. But yeah, I was being a weenie about it, and I was like, no, you don't have to go talk to him, and it's it's just fine. And no, I'm getting well that I really wanted somebody to talk to him because it wasn't true and it wasn't me and blah blah. blah, and blah, 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 blah. My sister's like, okay, get in the car. We're gonna go up to his house. Okay, so I get in her car, me, her, and her boyfriend, and we all head up to where the guy lived at, right? So we get out the car and her boyfriend literally just stands behind us like this, arms crossed. Mind you guys, he does have a wife beater on. I think he had a hat on too. He was he was just looking real security-like, okay? He was, and me and my sister, our short selves, we're in the front and we ring the doorbell. And so we're standing there and we're waiting. And so uh, the, what did I name my man? Brian's dad comes to the door, right? And Brian's dad's like, hi, how can we help you? And so my sister pretty much tells him the whole story. And it's like, your son was saying this about my sister. And I don't appreciate it. And that's not true. And blah, blah, blah. Y'all want to know what this man said? Y'all want to know what Brian's daddy said? He was like, my son wouldn't do that. 
my son knows better than that. He, he would never say anything like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Blah, 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 blah. That's literally this man's energy. And I was just looking like, well, that's what he said. Like, I'm not a liar. And like, my sister, who makes something like that up? Let's let, let's just be honest. Like, who would make something like that? Who? Who? I'll wait. I'll wait. Let me know. I'll wait. I'll wait. The dad is low key pretty much trying to say that I'm a freaking liar. And I'm just like, bro, like, who lies about something like, like, who makes up a rumor about themselves? Who? Please, please. Like, okay, actually, you know what? I, there's probably some people out there that have done it, but them, them weird people who's crazy and stuff, like, I was not that person, okay? Let me, let's just get that straight. I was not that person. So pretty much the dad was like, my son wouldn't do that, and I don't know what you're talking about. And he was just really, like, in denial, thinking that his son was all goody two-shoes. And I was just like, sir, your son said what he said, and we're trying to tell you that it's not okay okay then the mom comes to the door because i guess i think my sister was like really like going in on that man like i'm pretty positive she was because i think that's why the mom came to the door because she heard what was going on she's like what's going on and so my sister explains the situation to the mom and the mom is looking like and so she turned around she's like <laughs> and she calls that man downstairs right y'all this is when things just got hectic okay and so his mom looked at him and he was like, he looked at me, looked at everybody that was by me. And he kind of looked intimidated. I ain't gonna cap. He looked like he was a little scared. Okay. He looked like shaking in the boots a little bit. Oh, uh. Because like I said, mind you y'all, my sister's boyfriend, he was, he was just, he didn't even say anything. My guy was just standing there like this. Like, he was legit just standing there like that, bro. That's all he had to do, bro. And this man was shaking his boots, okay? Shaking. Anyways. Brian's like, yeah, mom. And she's like, did you say this to this girl? Like, did you say, like, you know, she breaks the situation down to him. And he's like, yeah. And like, he's like real quiet and stuff. And I'm like, sir, you was not quiet when you was trying to say that I was out here doing things that I wasn't doing. Okay. You was not quiet when you was like, oh, I bet that's what you've been out here sucking. And, uh, you was not, you did not, you was not acting like that the other day. You had a lot to say. And now all of a sudden you real quiet. You zip. What's, what's good, bro? What's good? So his mom asked him, he was like, yeah. And she was like, why would you say that to that girl? Blah, blah, blah. And she was like low-key disciplining this man, like right in front of our faces. And I was just like, karma is horrible, ain't it? It's just terrible. It's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. And so she was like, you need to apologize. And so y'all want to know what this man did? He looked at his mom and he was like, I'm sorry. Mom. And she was like, no, not to me, to her. And I was like, period period apologize to me okay me and so lo and behold he definitely turned to me and he was like i'm sorry i was like it's it's okay like i i ain't even gonna lie his mom had yelled at him like literally in front of our faces and i low-key felt i felt kind of bad for the for old dude okay i ain't know i ain't know and his dad y'all his dad was just standing there he was standing there looking like hmm, i tried to save you son i tried to save you but Oh, well, your mother jumped in. Like, that's how he was looking. And I was just like, sir, go somewhere, please. Because you was really trying to accuse me of lying. Like, why, what I got to lie for? What I what I got to lie for? Why would I lie about that? That's that's stupid. He apologized. My, his mother apologized to me, too. She was like, I'm sorry about that and blah, blah, blah and everything. And everybody pretty much went on their merry way after that. But, yeah, that was pretty much the end of the story time. That's the time that my sister almost or she probably did cuss out the 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 the, the neighbor okay it wasn't necessarily my next door neighbor but it was technically my neighbor because she was going in on that man dad i know she was because that's why the mom came to the door and then we got results okay um but yeah that was pretty much the end of the story i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's kind of short moral of the story you guys don't bully people like what is the point don't make up rumors about people don't don't do all that and also you know that's when naima also learned not to participate in roast sessions okay that was that was the end of it for me naima does not roast people now and people don't even like when i actually try to jump in and roast people because apparently according to my friends i hit below the belt all the time like because i don't even say something that's like <laughs> i always just say something that's 
just like actually mean and they'd be like dang that kind of hurt my feelings so i just don't participate in real sessions but i definitely learned my lesson i feel like i got my karma he got his karma his might have been a little worse than mine his was just really embarrassing actually but yeah i ended up going to high school no problems when i went in i was able to make friends and honestly i have a bunch of story times up about how my high school life went so y'all know um but yeah, there was there was that. That was pretty much it. Um, not gonna lie, when we rode the bus together, like the a few days later or the next week, it was it was a little it was a little weird. But buddy knew not to mess with me. Okay, he knew not to mess with me. It feels me. Yeah, that was pretty much the end of the story. I like I said, I know it was kind of short, but I just wanted to tell you guys because y'all don't be out here bullying people, okay? Cause I'll find out. Let don't let me find out. Don't let me find out. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, which is always in the description box down below. Make sure you guys send me more video ideas because I am definitely open to doing more content on my channel or more content ideas. Content creation. Content. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. Um, Thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you made it this far and you aren't subscribed yet. And turn on your post notifications. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I want a chick that grind on a nine to five. Hoshi and them college books trying to get a rise. But tonight, I'm just trying to have a good time.